Yeah, we are live. As soon as the message go, kids will join. I'll put the message there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm, you can now put the volume up. Okay. Mm. Oh, they did not send out the reminder today. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I will. I'll be sending it away. I forgot. Hi, Krishna, see. Param, Tushita, Palvet, Madhav, Balavrinda, Haribol. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. So now is February for you, right? When when is spring break starting? Mataji, next week, next week, uh, not next week. After that, we have holidays because uh, in nineteenth and twenty first we have holidays, Mataji, for the um, classes because nineteenth is uh, President Day. Okay. Yeah, Mataji, for twenty first is Nityananda Trayadasi. So, we'll give three days holiday, is it? No, in between one day is there. <laughs> yeah, one yeah. Day. So, we are not planning holiday, that. Holiday, Wednesday holiday, Tuesday we will join. Back to the next okay. week, I have a four-day weekend because we have prayer teacher conference. Oh, and also, oh, we have um, President's Day. Mataji. Yes. Mataji, um, for, yeah. for, um, for me, we have President's Day and we also have a Teacher Institute Day on Monday. Okay, that's, on the and that's on the 19th, right? Tomorrow is Luna the New Year. Uh, I don't, Mataji, let me tell. Mataji? Uh, yes. I, think, yes, I think for everyone who lives in the they get President's Day. Yes, yes, Madhav. So, so today, today, Today I was in the parade in the school and and I was also showing the dragon because uh, in the school we were all celebrating Chinese New Year. Oh. So, 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 so I was in the parade and, and I was showing the dragon. Martin oh, you were showing the dragon. Okay. Good. Yes, Ryan? That's what we call moon, Lunar New Year. Yes, yes. Because they say that because of the because of the moon, it like changes into a banana shape. Yes. Now, like slowly, every yeah, and this, and this slowly we'll have New Year for all the oh. other regions of India as well. Okay. From March, so April. This is my dragon that I made in school. Okay. This is so I'm trying to show it now. Mataji Jay is back from uh, India trip. He went to India trip for a while and he's back. Oh. Mm. It was a long trip? Uh, maybe uh, around 15 days something he went, I think, Mataji. 15 or one month, maybe. I don't know. Mataji, this is how yeah. my dragon looks like. Oh, very nice. Hey, Ryan, that's very nice. I can't see it. I actually, I actually went for 21 days. Wow. Wow, Ryan, this looks very good. Very yeah, nice, got, Ryan. I like the things that you hold the dragon. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, right, right. Very creative. Uh, yeah, it's very nice. He you, colored it, that's all. Ryan, you can teach nice. me Balavrinda. Balavrinda will make it, okay? Like how I made it is like my teacher prints out this. It, the, the 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 head and the tail and then we oh, use, like, that's what I was thinking so I was thinking use, so like, like red paper to fold it into half and use tape two sets of tape and put use the popsicle stick and, and put it on the back of the dragon that's how you can make and, and it. I guess if you have some if you have some red paper you can also make the flames coming out from his mouth we didn't have well we usually the well, the you the Chinese people that hold it doesn't have the drive have the fire coming out of it. How about okay. the, how about the, we can yes. make something out of we could uh from that knowledge we can make something else like we could do like Krishna Balram. 
So we yeah, can yeah, we should, we should. Yeah, in one of our um, in camps, we did the puppet. Okay, hi Krishna Jai, welcome back. I am so happy, Suhrud and Sp uh, Spurti. Uh, first time to the Friday classes. Welcome. Suhrud joins, right? First time in the Friday Mataji, class. Friday, he does not join, Mataji. Friday, okay, I don't okay. Yeah. Sometimes Mataji, I, sometimes I usually sometimes used to join the Friday class. Not every day, sometimes. No, you always okay. join, Ryan. Okay. You always okay, join. Ryan. Okay, okay. <laughs> very good. Okay. Mataji. <laughs> so, Mataji. Okay, so, Yes. In in every class, I try to join. Very good. I'm so happy that you are trying yes, your yes. best Palvita to join. Yes, also join Actually, every class. Patusha. Sushita join every class. Param that join is the reason class. I take up everyone's name Patusha. and say Patusha. I Patusha. told Patusha. you. Patusha. Patusha. One, you know what? One class, one class, Patusha. we should put up a title. Kids talking. <laughs> <laughs> Mataji, Kids same problem. Class. Mataji, especially you know, for teachers who are teaching on Tuesday and Thursday, it's very difficult because they have only 30 minutes slot for them. In that 15 minutes, they are talking, Mataji. What a teacher can teach 15 minutes. Only 15 <laughs> minutes, and the activity teacher <laughs> will come. Activity teacher also, same thing. For 10 <laughs> minutes they talk. I'll, I'll make them okay. Don't talk, don't talk. No, it's a class. <laughs> Then again, next class starts because Thursday, summary class we have. Tuesday, we have Lalitangi Mataji's class. It's getting very difficult with these kids on Tuesday and Thursday. Yes, madam. So, so actually, every every Friday, I have Bhakti workshop to go. So, 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 I will, so, so, I will not able to join. Oh, I yeah, I understand. I understand. And about the okay. a program like once in a month on eight at first Friday, so I can't mm -hmm. join. That's why I couldn't join last Friday. But I'm oh, there. Okay. Okay. okay, now I need to talk to Jay. Okay, give me one minute. Jay, how was your India trip? It was good. It's good. And where were you in India? Uh, I was in Gwalior and Noida. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess you went and to the whole world. Very nice. Very nice. Vinita so Mataji. <laughs> yes, Ryan. That picture that you sent in on free AIM, was that in the code for the day? Yeah, it was quote from my Guru Maharaj. Yes, it was quote from my Guru Maharaj. It's, ta it's talking about chanting. So that's why I posted there. So that you know what is how great chanting is. So Guru Maharaj is saying Krishna and Krishna's name is non-different. So that's why we keep uh, we keep it so regular that we chant Krishna's name. No leaves for Krishna's name. No holiday, no sick leave. Nothing like that, right? Mm. Might be means that we should not stop chanting. Yeah, okay. we should stop chanting. So, like, on, like, like in kindergarten, I never do chanting. It when I started chanting, I thought that, I thought that when are we going to stop chanting? <laughs> I know when you joined for the first class. I know you know what Ryan when he joined for the first class, he was like, "When is this class going to stop?" <laughs> Not only one, I'll, almost like for one few months, is like, is is it over? Is it over? It's like, 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 like a couple of years ago. Mataji, just, Mataji. It's class. just like that when was you so said long ago. Ryan was new to the class. It's been like two years Ryan was in this class, right, already? Yeah. It's like Ryan, when, you, when, you, when you sit in a car and ago. you start I somewhere. Was first three years class. ago. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Mataji, my first class, I liked it a lot. It was, it was like a new, it was new. And uh, also, I, the first class I joined was the Friday class. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. So we have and, and, I, and, I, and I really liked the class. And then I was sad that the class ended after. Very nice. Uh, Smaran po Poonam, eh, who's the child? Smaran? Maybe Mataji. Maybe uh, today, Kitida Mataji took our posters, maybe from her group, someone. She took all of our posters. She wants to circle it somewhere in her okay. area. Hi, Krishna Sadhu, Sarod, 
Subhadra Giridhari. Oh, someone Smaran, who is it? Can you name? No, can I know the name of the child or do you want to come on uh, on video? <laughs> what is it? Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Sadhu. Hare Krishna Sadhu. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Hare Krishna 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 you want to unmute and talk? Is your name Smaran? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Bol. Where are you from, Smaran? Where do you live? Um, I live in Houston. Houston, okay. Are you joining for the first time? Yeah. And, uh, very good, very good. How old are you? I'm five. Five years old, big boy. <laughs> Welcome to How the call. Can we all say a big? Classes? Sorry? How did you came to know about our classes? How did you come to know about your classes? Your mom or someone is there with you? Yes. Uh, so I, uh, someone from my temple, uh, you know, added me in this group, one of my friends. Okay. So, yeah. We yeah. go to ISKCON yeah. and Houston yeah. here every Sunday. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Very nice, Mataji. Welcome, welcome to the class. So I hope you have uh, you've Where been added to the kids uh, kids group. Uh, I don't think so. someone can, I have been added to the Japa community. So I got this message there and I just uh, logged in. Okay, okay. So Mataji, you can contact Vinita Gantabika Mataji. She will. Uh, uh, she is there on the main group. So okay. she can add you to the kids uh, the kids okay. announcement group as well. Okay, Mataji. Yeah, sure. Where is Smaran, Smaran, who is there along with you? Um, he's my brother. He's a brother. And what's, what's, your, what's your name, brother, little brother? What's Atar your name? Atharva. What's your Atarva. name? Atharva. Haribol Atharva. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Where does Smaran live? What is it? Where does Smaran live? Smaran lives. Smaran, do you want to tell where do you live? In Houston. In Houston. Did you get to know Ryan? When are you going to visit him? Where does he live? Where do you live? Ryan, he's asking you where do you live? Oh, I live in, in Gold Poppy Street. And where does it come? Um... I think it comes with Brentwood. And where does where does that come? In which what? state? <laughs> which state, yeah. Ryan? Huh? Which state do you live? I live in the United States. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> is this the US uh, country? Where does Ryan Where live, Mataji? So funny, in so funny. In which state you live? I live in United <laughs> States. <laughs> Where does he live, Mataji? Huh? Mataji? California. Where does Ryan live? California. 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 Ryan, I think you do not want anybody to visit you. That's the reason you're not telling where do you live. No, I want to. But Ryan to wants to know everyone where they live. So that yeah, he can go and visit and have nice prashadam. Okay, can we give a big Hari Bol to Smaran and Atharva? A big Hari Bol to Okay, so by saying Hari Bol, we have welcomed you both to our classes. So just to let you know, every day uh, from Monday to Friday, we have these classes. Atharva, are you listening? I'm talking to you. Yes. Eyes and ears. Very good. Mm -hmm. Eyes and ears on me. So every, from Monday to Friday, we have these classes. So the Friday class is a, is a different class wherein we are learning the important verses of the Bhagavad Gita. And from Monday to uh, Thursday, we have a different schedule. And uh, we are learning the Srimad Bhagavatam. 
in a very very easy way in in so, sort of stories so you can join at the same time every day okay the announcements come in the group they come in the main group as well and they'll come in the kids group as well okay so mata ji okay. will add your mom to the kids group so then it will be easier for you to get the announcements okay mata ji is it okay. every day 30 minutes or a one hour session this is yeah it's it's one hour mata ji one hour okay and which grade are you in atharva and smaran atharva is atharva atharva uh, atharva is 3 years old he is going to <laughs> uh, pre k Okay. So, um, uh, Smaran, what grade are you in? I'm kindergarten. I'm going to Williams. Okay, very nice, very nice. So I hope you enjoy our class. And so we, I think, uh, Sadhu, how old are you? Matadi, he's two year old. Ryan, I'm talking to Sadhu. Can I hear from him? He doesn't know how. <laughs> Sadhu, how old are you? Two. No. Oh, good. Very good. Um, so I'm still our youngest. So there's still somebody else. If somebody comes who is going to be one year old, then Ryan will be a big boy. Sorry, then Sadhu will be a big boy. <laughs> okay. So now I think enough of our interactions. Okay. Everybody done with all your talking from your heart? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Spurti, yeah. I love your name. It's only six fifty though. Hi, balls. Spurti. Yeah. Spurti. How old are you, Spruti? Spurti, sorry, Spurti. Seven, Matachi. Huh? Okay. Matachi is seven, but she has lots and lots of knowledge of scriptures. Oh, is it? Ask any question, she will say answer to you. Yeah, she's, she and her brother both. Awesome. Where, where do they live? <laughs> I don't know, Matachi. Georgia, Matachi. Georgia. Georgia. George. You have a temple nearby? No, Mataji. Atlanta temple, Mataji. Atlanta temple, Mataji. It's two hours from here. Oh. Okay, you live far away from temple. Two hours from temple. Okay. Same like me. I also live far away from temple. Mataji, we have a temple, Mataji. I live 30 minutes away from my temple. Okay, can, can I hear from Spruti? Spruti? We have a Namahata, Mataji. At your place? Okay, 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 yeah, a bhakti center, uh, sort of center, right? Yes, not, really? not, not a center yet, Mataji. Not a center yet, and I pray that it uh, center comes up quick and you come to an age where you can also start preaching. Thank you, Mataji. I'm really very happy with you both. Mataji. Okay, you know what we, when, when we do is when when we're talking, yeah, yeah, Madam, I'm going to listen to you. Okay, I'm going to listen to you. I want we uh, uh, if anybody wishes to talk, what happens? You know, if three of them are going to talk at at one time, then it becomes a chaos. You can't hear anyone, right? So, isn't it better if we just raise our hand? Yes, very good. Thank you. Yes, Madam, you wanted to say something. So, Mataji, actually, my temple lives very close. It just takes it just takes twenty minutes to reach here. Very good. Are you in Houston, Mataji? Mm -hmm. Where do you live, Mother? New Jersey. I, I live in New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay, very nice. A my, place. my temple is only one Raise hour. Raise your hand. Okay, Raise your hand. Um, yes, thank you. Ma 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 won yesterday Kahoot game. Oh, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, I know. These kids love Kahoot. I should be starting soon. Yes, Palvit, you wanted to say something? Actually, I have a temple just nearby here. Oh, like, um, it just stays like, um, you just go here and then you go here. You just like, go across um, the street. Just very just, nearby, Mataji. Yes, just across the street. Very nice. Subhadra Giridhari? Yes, Mataji. So, Mataji, our temple is like close by, Mataji. But like, it, it takes us like, like 30 minutes to it, go there. Yeah, 30 minutes where I think it's like 20 minutes or something. 20, 25, 30. 30. Very nice. You know what we are going to do is for the Friday class at least, 
Now, what I see is the, you know, um, it, it's not about, uh, it, it's just my observation, okay? I just feel that before the class, if we chant, we'll, we'll try to chant one round, okay? It will it, depend upon how far you can sit back and chant. But I feel that chanting one round cools you down, settles you down a lot. And then it helps the class. What do you feel? Should we do that from the next class onwards? Yay! Yes, Mataji. Yes, yes. 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 So next class yes. onwards, what we'll do is we will be chanting one round. Okay, mm -hmm. so Surud, you wanted to say something? Yes, Mataji. I had a question, Mataji. Uh, yeah, please go. Mataji, what are you with, Mataji? I, we were in US earlier when this class started. Now we are in India, in Pune. So Mata. when when in US I was in Texas, Dallas. Yes. So Shri Shri Radha Kalachanji huh? was near to me. Yeah. Huh? Vinita Gandharvika Mataji, where do you live, Mataji? Vinita Gandharvika Mataji, she lives in Houston, College yeah. Station. College Station, Texas, one hour thirty minutes from Houston. Yeah. And then we have Ryan. Who, uh, you have something to ask? My mom asked, Are you going to the Sadha Sangha so we can meet? Yes, yeah. I did be there. Last year also, I met a lot of our Bhakti but Sangha kids. I was playing in the pool when I didn't even know how to swim. I was so happy oh, to meet Param. Uh, I met Many Param. Kids. He splashed water on my head. Many kids I have met. So and they were like, we need to come here, we come here, we need to come here, we come here. Yeah, and, and it's nice water. this year also, you have it in that, uh, you have it in the, uh, we're in Dallas, right? Francisco, San yes, yes. Francisco. The year I came back, and after that, after that, since two years, it is in Dallas. So it's I wasn't that fortunate to meet everyone. Okay, now I see so many hands raising again. Tushita, you have something to ask? Thirty minutes far away. 30 minutes away. Okay, good. It's doable, right? No. Very nice. Madhav, you have something to ask? Um. Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead. So. Oh. Uh, silent. So, um, so. So every Saturday I go mm -hmm. to um swimming. Then when 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 I don't wear like like something which like clothes and we wear it, but um uh, that thing when I remove that thing, then the, then I will just sink in the water. So so I need that floating thing, but I don't know what that's called. Oh, okay, okay. So every day you go to swimming. No, it's called a swimsuit. A swimsuit. Now, you know what? What I'm going to do is, I think, Vinita Gandharika Mataji, do we need to change the title of the today's title? Yeah, we need to change it to Talking Day. Okay, what we'll do is, we'll keep the talking, we'll keep the talking for maybe at the end. Okay, we'll start, we'll start with the class. Mataji, quickly say, ask something. Can I quickly say what? Mataji, can I ask something quickly? Uh, maybe at the end, at the end, we'll have that curiosity at the end. Okay, we'll, so we'll be waiting. What did Param want to say? And what did Balarinda want to say? Okay, so we are going to join our hands together. Okay, join our hands together. And we'll start with our prayers. 
ओम अज्ञान Okay, so we'll start with Shri Prabhupada's quote. <clears throat> so we have Spurti, can you read the uh, quote for us, please? If at the time of death one can remember Krishna, one's life is successful. Very good. Shri Thank Prabhupada. you so much. Can I read it now? One we will we'll have many many things to read today, Ryan. Don't worry. Okay, so uh, okay, I am going to have one person. Oh wait, where is okay, Balavrinda? Can you just explain in 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 one minute or in a few seconds what does this quote mean from Srila Prabhupada? Oh, okay. So, so at the time of death, if we remember about Krishna, we can be successful. Uh, but if we remember about something else, then uh, in the next life we may become that, or we may we may just um uh, we may just not go to Krishna. Very good. So, uh, the whole uh, you know like what Shri Prabhupada says, this whole life is that we are preparing ourselves for the last journey, right? And at that time, what is going to be your consciousness? What you are going to be thinking of? That is what is going to take you at that place. Wherever you think about or whatever you think about, it is going to be your next destination. So, if uh, that is the reason we say, right? Like when it is the Rath Yatra, you are, if you have attended the Rath Yatra and if you have seen Lord Jagannath on the Rath Yatra, and have taken his darshan at your last at your last breath you will be remembering all the things which you have done for the lord you will be remembering the lord and that is the reason also they say that it's like very important to attend the rath yatra wherever you have the rath yatra see to it that you can see the lord because that's the only day that the lord is coming out to give you darshan otherwise what happens is every time you go and take darshan of the lord Right. So these glimpse of all these things which you have done for the Lord or which you have done in service will be in your remembrance and then it will become easier for you to remember Krishna. OK. Only then it's like your life is successful. So this is uh, we'll start with the quote of Srila Prabhupada. Now. <clears throat> second, OK, we started by what time we started? Mataji, how long do we have? Because we'll have to continue this next time also. But I wanted to take 30 up minutes. Some... 30 minutes. Not 30 minutes. Mataji, 15 minutes, right? But Mataji, how long do we have? How long minutes. do we have? 30, 30 minutes, minutes, huh? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So what we'll do is, my earlier plan was that we were going to take up all the... Uh, revision of the verses which we did in the ninth chapter okay for everyone who is joined now or we'll just give a glimpse of what we're doing so we have finished with the ninth chapter the what whatever what we're doing is smaran and atharva 
वी आर डूइंग वी आर ऑन द नाइन्थ चैप्टर ऑफ द भगवत गीता तो मे बी एवरीबॉडी इज गोइंग टू गेट टू से वन वर्ड या देयर इज या या मोस्ट प्रोबेबली या so there is a pdf where which mentions about the important verses of the bhagavad gita which uh, which everybody should know so according to that we are in the ninth chapter of the bhagavad gita and uh, we finished with the ninth chapter so what today i am going to do is we'll have to continue with this let's see if we come back we, if we have time so as we finish the ninth chapter we should come to know that what is the importance of this ninth chapter okay so then uh, giridhari can you let me know the name of the ninth chapter of bhagavad gita mataji so the uh, the ninth chapter of the bhagavad gita is the most confidential knowledge very good okay i'm going to lower all the hands so yeah it's the most confidential knowledge and uh, now uh, if i ask you like in your school when you have a secret to be told do you just go uh, in the school and tell each and every one or you just go on top of the school and tell it to everyone no, if you have a secret to tell no matter ji okay so no, then if there's something no. confidential if there's Mataji. something confidential if there's something very very important whom do you tell my teacher the teacher mata ji teacher confidential in sense it's it's within your friends yeah ma'am if you have something the principal yourself if you have some secret to be told the most trustable the most trustable the most trustable very nice i love how you like the most trustable and the most person that you think will actually not tell anybody else if it's a very uh secret which is not Which, like uh, Mataji, most, not, yes. Mataji, the most trustable person. Mataji, like, like I brought my phone yesterday to school, and then I told it that to my friend Justin, and he. Very and good. Said, yeah, we are good to answer. Answer in short, Ryan. Ryan, we are good to answer in short. Okay, we are going to answer in short. Now, I really, I need, I need you to work on that. Okay, so we are going to tell the most trustable. we are going to tell our best friend or the person who is closest to you or the person whom you know that that person is going to keep it a secret or will follow whatever you say right so this and the bhagavad gita is basically a conversation which is going between lord krishna and his friend uh, arjuna right and eventually arjuna becomes his disciple so he takes krishna as his uh, guru he says i surrender on to you and then that's the time when lord shares this knowledge and that's known as the most confidential knowledge okay now this most confidential knowledge as we learned the important verses of these of this chapter we will summarize it as the not summarize but we'll have to take the essence of that chapter so in the glories of the ninth chapter of the bhagavad gita from the padma purana okay so that <clears throat> what i want you to do is because you all love reading but the support to the captions sorry so what's with the captions they put the cash captions for something so it's like distracting with the captions because they did it yesterday too so what do you see in the captions can you see something coming up yeah, yeah. language vinita gandhi ka mataji are you there can you help us out mataji um for mataji mataji come be come mataji mataji for me it's not coming actually they say some language is coming Oh, um, Mataji, oh. there's like a Mataji. We're using my mom's MacBook, so like, uh, there's all these uh, like things, like these uh, different like boxes that show like uh. Yeah, that is. Okay, let me let me see about. if I can close it. One but second. Mataji, Mataji, it's nothing. You just select as English, Mataji. That's it. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's it. It's okay. a Zoom future, Mataji. Nothing. It's because AI is generating the summary, so it's making us uh, sure that we are speaking what language, so that it can generate accordingly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Last time, okay. you know, kids selected it as Telugu, and uh, all the summaries came in Telugu. It was a big headache. We to translate to English. Okay. 
So please don't select any language, but select English only, okay? Okay, so so we'll we'll just uh, read about the uh, ninth chapter glories. What is the glories? That means what what do you get by uh, reading the ninth chapter, or what do you what happens when you when you know about the ninth chapter? Okay, though it is like you do not do the uh, reading of the Bhagavad Gita or you do not study the Bhagavad Gita to get anything, but because it is mentioned in the Padma Purana, we'll see like what are the importance of the reading the ninth chapter. Okay, so let me see which child I see the first child. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, Ryan, whatever I'm going to highlight, I want you to read that much part, okay? Okay. Yeah. I've highlighted, I want you to read that. Okay. Lord Shiva said, my dear Parvati, now I shall relate you to... To you, the glory of the ninth chapter of Shiva Bhagavad Gita. There was a town of Nath Mahishasti. Mahishmati. Mahishmati. He of the big bank of the Narmada River, where one Brahmin of the name Madhavas Madhav lived. Uh, that Brahmin was strictly followed. It all of the it injunctions of the, injunctions injunction of the Vedic of the Vedas and posted in all the good the qualities of a Brahmin Brahminical class. Very good. Thank you so much. Yes, Balavrinda. Okay. Due to his being so learned, he would Receive. Do I read all of the one that you highlighted? Yes. Uh, I can't. Okay, now that's good. Due to his being so learned, um, he would receive a lot of charity, and with his, what did you can't see? Okay, yeah, now I can. Uh, some collated wealth, he started to perform a great. Fire sacrifice for offering in sacrifice. One goat was bought, and when they started to cleanse that goat in preparation for its sacrifice, to everyone's great surprise, the goat started to laugh and in loud voice said, O oh, Brahmana, what is the benefit of performing so many sacrifices that simply burn? Bind us up in the wheel of birth and death. Just see my position due to my performing so many fire sacrifices. Very good. So okay, so this is the story which is there in the Bhagavad Gita, uh, in the uh, in the glories of the ninth chapter, where what is the importance of the ninth chapter has been emphasized. So in a town named Mahishmati on the bank of the Narmada River. There lived a Brahmana and his name was Madhava. Okay. So this Brahmana was very, uh, he was following all the Brahminical, uh, all the Brahminical qualities. He was following all the Vedas and he was a very good person. So because he was learned, he would receive a lot of charity. What's charity? Wherein you're receiving a lot of uh, uh, gifts sort of. Okay. And with the accumulated wealth, he started to perform great fire sacrifices. In earlier times, there were like a lot of fire sacrifices. In the fire sacrifices, they used to also have, uh, you know, sacrifice, animal sacrifices were also done. So then when he bought a goat to sacrifice and to please the Lord by, sacri by these sacrifices. So uh, in, in the temples, you must have seen, we have fire sacrifices where we do the grains, right? Because that's the proper way of doing it in this Kali Yuga. Yeah. And then, and like on the Maharaj birthday, um, October 6th, we did like a fire sacrifice inside okay, the temple. Did. Yeah, so Why then be over, here, New Year? over here, what they did was they uh, he got a goat to be sacrificed, and then the goat started laughing. Now, imagine in the middle of the sacrifice, a goat which is bought for the sacrifice it started laughing, and then he said that. What is the use of these fire sacrifices if it is going to simply bind you to the cycle of birth and death? And he also said, look at my position. 
or just see my position due to my performing fire sacrifices. So let's see what happened to the goat after when the sacrifices were done. Surut, can you read this for us, please? Yes, Mother. When everyone gathered there, when everyone gathered there, they heard the words of the goat. They became curious, and the Brahmin inquired with Volodens, "How did you become a goat?" In your previous life, which caste did you belong to, and what activities did you perform? The goat replied, O Brahmana, in my previous birth, birth I was born in a very pure Brahmana family, and I, ve I very carefully performed all ritualistic activities and enjoined in the Vedas. In the Vedas, okay. So the goat was mentioning about his previous life and mentioning about what all uh, the goat did in that life. Yes, Madhava. Madhav, can you read this part which has been highlighted? Okay. One one day my wife wished, wished. wished to worship Durga. Durga so that our child child might be cured. Cured of his disease. Disease for this purpose. purpose. She um she requested. requested me to bring one goat. Very good. Thank you so much, Madhav. Yes, Param, can you read this for us, please? Okay, Mataji. When we sacrificed the goat at the temple of Mother Durga, the goat cursed me. O oh, sinful lowest of all, you wish to make my children fatherless. For this reason, you will also take birth as a goat. Okay, so see the goat. The goat mentioned that for some, uh, for your child, you're sacrificing me and making my children fatherless. And then I curse you that for this, you will also take a birth as a goat. So imagine the Brahmana doing the sacrifice to get something, some uh, benefit out of it, and he got cursed by the goat. Param can Param is read right? Yes, Giridhari, can you read this? Yes, Mataji. Oh, Madhava. When the time for my death came, I attained the body of a goat. But by the mercy, by the grace of Lord Govinda, I can remember my previous births. If you wish to hear one other interesting story, then I will tell you. Thank you so much. So this the goat told about his story that how he got the um the body of a goat due to his performing the sacrifices and wherein he got cursed instead of getting any blessings, he got cursed and now he's going to go into the next story part okay so palvit can you read this part please yes mataji in the place known known as kurukshetra which is capable of giving liberation there once lived a king of the name Ch chandra sharma who was the dynasty of the sun god once at the time of the solar is eclipse? Is peace? Eclipse? The king, eclipse. The king wished to give charity to one Brahman. Very good. Uh, okay. Subhadra, can you read this one? Yes, Madhuji. Included in that charity was Shurda, whose body was completely black. After going with his priest and taking bath in the sacred lake, putting on clean clo cloth and applying sandalwood, he returned to his place. Okay, thank you so much. Then we have... Spurti, did you read? No, what did you... Okay, can you read this in part? With devotion, he gave charity to qualified Brahmana, to a qualified Brahmana. After he had presented the charity, all of a sudden, from the black sut sutra's heart, one 
very simple chandala. Chandala, dog eater, appeared, and after a little while, a female chandala appeared from that black sutra's body, and together they went close to the brahmana. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is the story which he's telling. Okay, we have Tushita. All of, all of a sudden, they entered into the body of the Brahmana. That Brahmana remained Undisturbed. 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 Undisturbed and started to chant the ninth chapter. Ninth chapter of Srimad Bhagavad Gita while remembering, remembering. Lord Govinda. Thank you so much. Yeah, we have who is left to let me see who's raised the hands over here. The shit has read. Smaran, do you want to read? Try reading. The king. Yeah, I'm there. The king witnessing was nestling all these activities. Activities was oh, stunned. Was stunned. I'm able. I'm able to say anything. Yes. Stunned. Soon as. Soon as. As soon as. The, as soon as the words of the. The words of the ninth chapter. Of. Of. Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Hmm. Loud. Come. Came. came on the lips. Lips. lips of, of that Brahmana. Brahmana. The Vishnu Dutas. Vishnu Dutas. Appeared. The, the, there. They and chased away, chased away those those two chapters. Chandalas. Chandalas. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you so yeah. much. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have who else is left? Param, did you get to read? Yes, Param has a We have like ten more minutes. Martin. Who else is left to read? Mother G, can I read? Yes. Who is it? Palvit. Yeah, go ahead, Palvit. At that time, the king inquired from the Brahmana all around one who are those two persons and which mantra did you chant? Right. So then the king was giving charity and then. What happened was from a Shudra's body, two personalities came out and then they tried to enter into the Brahmana's body. And at that immediate at that time, the Brahmana chanted something and then he got freed from these two uh, things which entered into his body. So what was that? The king was eager to know that what exactly he chanted and what exactly happened to it. Just check. Yes, Madhav. Did you read? Okay, let me what let me do is let me lower all the hands. Now let just raise hands who did not yet read. Okay, everybody's got a chance to read, right? Okay, good. Yes, Balavrinda, can you can you read this part? Yes, but I only got a chance to read, but I want to read yeah, it yeah. again. Yeah. I like reading. Okay. 
which DD did you remember the Brahman on a plant taking the form of Chandala Sin personified appeared along with the fence personified in the form of the fe that female Chandala. Okay, so then two two bodies had come out from that chandala, and so it was one female body and a male body, and they were the sins personified. So they were the wrong things which were going to happen, and they started entering into the body of the brahmana. Surud, can you read this part? Yes, Maharaj. At that time, I started chanting the ninth chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, which is capable of releasing one from all fearful situations. By reciting the ninth chapter of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, I am always able to remember the lotus feet of Bhagavad Okay, so see, wonderful, right? So, chanting the ninth chapter, the Brahmana started remembering the Lord and with the mercy of the Lord, he was freed from something which was going to be a lot disturbing for him. Uh, Param, can you read this part? Okay, Patraji. Upon hearing this cake... Upon yeah. hearing this... Upon hearing this cake... Uh -huh. See, I, I've told you when you're reading it, Param, listen. When you're reading it, see to it that it's going to make sense. Upon maybe I'll just try to come over. Upon hearing this, the king the king learned, right? Oh, okay. Upon hearing this, the king learned the chanting of Shiva Bhagavad Gita, ninth chapter from the Pramana. Gradu gradually, he managed to attain the lotus feet of Lord Govinda. Very good. Tushita. When Madhava's heart this this voice from the God, he immediately freed, freed the goat and started to engage in reciting the Ninth chapter of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Daily. Daily and thus, thus, he, thus he also gained the lotus feet of Lord Govinda. Very good, right? So the go the goat told him two stories about himself also and what happened uh, with this king as well and what is the importance of reading the ninth chapter right and because the goat had performed the goat in his previous life had performed a sacrifice and uh, that is the reason he had got the body of a goat so he what uh, he mentioned it to the uh, it to Madhava also that if you do the same thing in your next life you are going to attain the same body of this animal of this uh, and then again it, the birth and life cycle will again continue and you are doing it for liberation but then this liberation is not going to be attained by whatever act you are doing. So uh, this ninth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita is one way of your uh, liberation. Okay, so that is the importance of the ninth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. Okay. What we will do is, everybody will get a chance to recite. I'll just have one verse. At... Okay. Uh, Spurti, can you recite this, uh, the first verse of the uh, ninth chapter? Shri Bhagavan Vacha idam tute guhyam tam tamam pravakshyam Pravakshyami Anasurya Ve Yanam Vidyana Sat Sahitam Yagnatva Yagnatva Mokshyasi Mokshyasi Subhast Subhataha Subhataha and, and the translation as well? The Supreme Personality of God had said, My dear Arjuna, because you are never envious of me, I shall impact, impart you 
this most confidential knowledge and realization, knowing which you should be relieved of the mysterious mysteries, mysteries. of miseries of material existence. Thank you. Okay. Very good. We are going to have this next week also. Okay, so don't worry. Uh, Madhav. So, Ma, so Ma, the chi, um, I read, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll read with you. Raja Vidya. Raja Vidya. Raja Guyam. Raja Guyam. Okay, you know what? I want some child to say along with you. Okay, Balavrinda, you you recite and then he'll so recite. I say, the, I say a little part yeah. at the one, Radha repeats. One, yeah. Yeah, one line okay. at a time. So, Radha repeats after I've done? Yes, then Madhav will repeat after you. Okay. Raja Vidya. Raja Vidya. Raja Guyam. Raja Guyam. Raja Vidya. Raja... No, just once. Okay, we are not oh. just once. Okay. Pavitra. Next line. Pavitya. Pavitra. Pavitram idam uttamam. Idam uttamam. Pratyaksha. Pratyaksha. Vagamam. 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 Dharmyam. 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 Tuzugam. Tuzugam. Kartum. Kartum. Kartum Avyaya Kartum Avyaya Avyayam Avyayam Very good. Uh, mother, can you read the translation? This knowledge is This knowledge is the king of Education Education Education, the most secret, secret of all secrets. secrets. It is the purest knowledge. Purest knowledge, and because it gives direct perception, direct perception of the self. self. By realization. realization, it is the perfection, perfection of religion. 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 It is everlasting. Everlasting, everlasting and it is joyfully, joyfully performed. performed. Okay, Mataji, what is the time? I do not want anybody to stay back such long. Exact time, Mataji. Mataji, it's clarity for me. Yeah, but what we will be doing is next week we'll continue with this revision because there are a lot of verses in the ninth chapter. And then we will have an activity related to this, okay? It will not be a Kahoot, but something related to that, wherein uh, it's going to be an, be an interaction and some. And then we will be making an art or Is craft related it? to this. Sorry? Is it book it? No, 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 no. We'll have something wherein you will be able to relate to the verse. Okay? And then we'll have a small activity also. So, so that I everybody can get a chance to recite the verses as well. I'm going to stop the share over here. Bhakti, okay, everyone? Bhakti, yes. You said we are going to be talking after. No, we are not going to be talking because next week we will have the chanting and then we will be immediately starting with the uh, revision of the ninth chapter because I want you all to, uh, now what's happening is only one of the person can, is able to recite it. So we all will be reciting it together at least three times one verse and then we'll move ahead. Okay. So next week as we join, immediately we will be starting to chant. So if you all, anybody is joining late as well, see to it that you just start chanting We'll be chanting for, for one round. So, seven to eight minutes. So, see to it that you join on time, okay? And we wouldn't be wasting any time in that. The, everybody, can you come on video? Mataji? Yes. My mom's, our mom's birthday is tomorrow. 
माताजी आई हैव अ बर्थडे पार्टी टुमारो वेरी नाइस आई यू आई यू गोइंग टू गिफ्ट योर मॉम समथिंग विद सम सरप्राइज यस माताजी वेल वेल माय मॉम शी इज इन द लिविंग रूम राइट नाउ So like I can't uh -huh. speak really loudly. Okay, no speaking. worries, no worries. Keep it to secret. So like we're going to the temple, and mm -hmm. we have um another Mataji. Her name is Radhika Mataji. Like my dance, my dance teacher. Uh, she like uh planned a whole surprise because she talked uh, with me about it, and then I told my brother, and I told him I had to tell my mom, and he didn't. Mm -hmm. So it's still a surprise. <laughs> Very nice. I I have like I pray that you have a very blissful day, and it's really nice that you are celebrating your mom's birthday. Okay, oh I will not. Oh my God! What do you have to show? Madhuri, we can say a happy Christmas card. Madhuri, my mom is something. My mom is Sarva Pindi. Ah, has, send like, it over here. Send it here. Nice and hot. <laughs> what is okay, it? I, I'll show you. Okay, let me show you what I made yesterday. But. But I I did did not still, I did not not still still share it on the group. I do you see this? What did I make? Samosa. 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 Yeah. Samosa yesterday. I like samosa. Papa, this is what it is. Yes, yeah, oh, right? Yeah. In in it's it's That's most it. like like in 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 uh wait let me. Reply. Oh, yes. Yeah, Thank not tepla uh, thali pit. We say. Yeah, can you show it, Balavrinda? I think many Telugu you know it, right? Sarva it's pindi. rice flour, Mataji. Mataji, does does the Mataji is that for design the whole, like in the middle? The middle is oh, designed in such a way. Yes, but the oil to go inside of it. But the oil it gets cooked. It gets cooked well. Oh. Okay, so we had a nice interaction Mataji. today. And remember, next Mataji. week get your chanting bags with you so that we can start chanting. Yes, who is it? Mataji. Um, yes. And also, um, I am going to um um. I think we're going to plan to um live next to Sri Radha Kala Chandra Ji Temple, and we're going to um go in Texas. Ah, very nice, very nice. Awesome. Please, I can see you. Because I live next to Dallas, but not next to Dallas, but three hours from Dallas. I think really? I'm living in Ibring. I think so. Okay. Do you live in Houston then? I don't live in Houston. I live in College Station, one hour thirty minutes from Houston. Very nice. So, in I'm really happy when you are living next to near to the temple, or you all can attend the temple. It's really, really very nice. What's the name? Is there yes. anyone who lives? Is there anyone who lives in Philadelphia or uh Delaware? Anyone? I used hmm. to live in Philadelphia. Where I live. Is there anybody who lives in College Station? <laughs> nobody, right? Maybe. Nobody. I mean, it's such a small. Tushita has something to say. Tushita is eating prasadam. Very nice. So prasadam <laughs> will make you sharp and make you healthy. What to do? Okay, live, yes. I live thirty minutes away from my temple. That's good. That's that's at least doable. Very nice. Um, and I live but I have a thirty minutes. Um, what's your temple? Oh. It's called Delaware. It's called what? Oh. Of Delaware. Oh. No. Okay, so I think you all should have your prasadam, your dinner time. So I'll let you go. And But, then we'll meet on Monday, and for this Friday class, we'll, uh, we'll have something different on Friday. Okay. Yeah. So. What for? Yes. जी की जय थैंक यू सो मच माता जी फॉर हेल्पिंग अस आउट